you know, she had not much time over that weekend. The fact that she committed to that and was doing it was amazing. Um, we both ended up having kind of crazy schedules around it. We shot it two days over a weekend. It was about two hours north of Vancouver in this area called Yale. Um, that was just beautiful, beautiful wilderness. And um, I think I worked until like one in the morning or something on Friday, and then got in the you know got in the little RV that we rented and drove it up there. And, and then we worked all day Saturday and Sunday, and then drove back all night Sunday. And, Rose at a 5 a.m. call time on Monday morning. So, you know, just like the devotion of someone who just is like not only such a great friend, but she did it because she loved it and was passionate about it. Um, so that was awesome. And it was a fun experience. You know, we kind of all went up and camped. You know, we lived, we stayed in RVs and tents on the land up there. And um, the crew was amazing and ran around hanging lights and trees. People were climbing trees to hang lights and all sorts of crazy things. Um, and that to me was like a really liberating process too because it was the first time I was telling a story that was not linear. And so there was something really fun about letting it be kind of poetic and not so clear. You know, it was, I knew the story I was telling and I knew the decisions I was making about it, but I was leaving it open-ended enough for people to be able to project their own ideas and thoughts and interpretations into it. And there was 